Hello everyone, Redness here and welcome to the next episode. So as you can see, we are here over at the new wool farm with our sheep and of course Brownie is still there. So yes, I'm definitely happy with this wool farm. It turned out great and it's working even better. So yeah, I'm excited to start doing some more. I'm excited for this episode. But there's one thing we need to do first. So this is what has to be done first. I forgot about my project board for a while because there's still a sugarcane farm, a creeper farm. We didn't do a cactus farm, no stone smith, no animal pen, but we did do the village breeder. So yeah, we actually got three of them already. I also already did a wool farm. I know it's in the book, it wasn't on here, but I definitely wanted to do the wool farm. So two episodes ago, I found out about this desert temple and this illager outpost that's right next to each other. I haven't been close to there. I definitely still haven't been close. I was traveling with some villagers and I definitely needed to keep them safe. Because I had to get them over here to our villager breeder. I definitely love this build. It's beautiful. But yeah, back to the desert temple slash illager outpost. I want to check it out. I really want to check it out. So let's land over here on the island really quick. So we can get a little bit of a look. Look at it. The desert temple, the illager outpost. I definitely wanted to check this out. I definitely think I need to switch my elytra and my chest plate because like this we are a lot stronger. So let's check it out. I definitely really would like to check it out. And I think... I think I have to get some milk. And we're back. So yeah, I noticed the guy up there with his flag. So immediately I thought I need some milk because if I kill him and I go back we are going to get a raid and I don't want to get a raid right now at my village and let's get this chest plate on and let's go kill some illagers. So there's not a lot of them I think it's going to be quite easy but I just love this. I think this is definitely amazing. I can see there's something wrong with the temple. It's a little bit broken down. And the first one already noticed us. So one shot. It's pretty easy. But yeah. I think I need to grab my sword. Definitely need to grab it. But yeah. I wanted to check this out. Because I might do something with this temple. Make a illager temple out of it. And... I didn't see you. I didn't even see you. So I don't know if there's going to be anyone up here. I don't think so. No, it's pretty empty. Oh, there is actually one of them. There's one of them. There's one. And now he's gone. So we got a chest. Yeah, we got a bottle of, <laughs> a bottle of XP. Some wheat, some string. Yeah, it's not that much. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be more of them. I saw someone walking around. Okay, so yeah, it's actually some messed up generation over here. This is definitely some messed up generation. We got a little bit of a tent in the desert temple. I think it's definitely amazing. It definitely is funny. I've never seen it before, but yeah, the most important thing of course is down here. So let's check out what kind of loot they have for us. At least there's 9 TNT down here, but let's see. Okay, some spider eyes, some bones, some string and a little bit of horse armor. I'm definitely not gonna need it. Over here, some rotten flesh. We got some sand. Some sand, some bones, a couple of emeralds, a little bit of gold. Still, yeah, not that great. 
So, a little bit more string, a little bit more sand, a little bit of iron and protection 3, sharpness 3, quick charge 1 and loyalty 2. It's not that bad, but it's also not that great. But for the last one, please give me something good. Okay, not that great. We got a couple more bones, a little bit more sand, a couple more emeralds. We did get a golden apple. Okay, so there's definitely nothing else over here. But I really wanted to check this out. Because I noticed it was pretty close. I was thinking about seeing if I can do something with it. I might be able to do something with it if I want to. It's a little bit too close to each other. That's definitely a thing. Because I would have liked to see a little bit more distance. But I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. It's not a lost project. I still might do something with it. I can already see a village. This one was definitely way closer to my village. It would have been way easier to get some villagers from over here. There's even another village over here. A plains village. Oh no. Wait. This. This is awesome. This is definitely great. It's a plain village. But because... Because it's a little bit in the savannah biome, we actually got the savannah villagers and the plains villagers. Oh no, are you kidding me? Even a desert villager? A desert villager. So, we actually got one village with three kinds of villagers the savannah villagers we've got the normal villagers we've got a desert villager we even got a netwit wait is this a netwit are you a netwit you're a savannah netwit i've never seen a savannah netwit your outfit is amazing yeah, your outfit is definitely amazing. I like it. I definitely like it. So we are back in the village. And over here are our small baby cows. I killed off all the bigger cows because I needed some space. I definitely needed some space. And there were a lot of cows in there. It was a little bit crammed up. So I put the baby cows inside. And I block this off because I'm going to take it down a little bit and build it up again. Okay, so I took down the top layer. I left this layer because yeah, the baby cows can get out because there are a couple of locks in there. But I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do this. I was thinking about maybe using a little bit of the water. Just to give them some natural water. So I might just do a small building. And then a little bit of an area with some water. Maybe a part of this, of the upper grass blocks. So you get a little bit of a different elevation in their area. I'm not sure about it. I definitely have to light this up. If I'm going to use it. Because of this guy. Because of this guy. I don't want you in my cow's water. So I was working on getting myself a little bit of an area. But I think it's too small. I actually think it's too small. I think we can go a little bit bigger. So... I was doing the building slash overhang, the part when the where the cows can stay dry. I was planning to do it over here, but now I'm thinking that I'm going to bring it a little bit more to the back. So 
I will just have to switch a couple of blocks like this and then expand this a little bit and I think this is just fine and then they get a little bit of a bigger area and then the building is going to pop out a little bit of the wall so I think that's going to work a lot better and yes, for the outer wall over here, I've used the spruce logs for now. I might do a couple of oak logs in between it, might strip a couple of them and maybe I'll add some planks, some slabs on top of it. But I think I can definitely work with it. Yeah, of course, I want it to fit in with this building. So I definitely need to... Add some oak in between this, strip a couple of them to make it fit in more with the colors. I think I'm going to use a little bit of the stone and of course the stone brick. I don't think I'm going to use bone blocks in it. It's going to be a small overhang so I think it's too small to add an extra layer to it. But yeah, first... Let me get some sleep. Okay, so we got the trim up and I definitely like it. It's the same as the building over there, the village breeder, the villager breeder, of course. And yeah, I just wanted to incorporate it in the village because it all has to fit together. And I think it definitely looks amazing. I definitely like the top part over there. I think it looks beautiful. I also noticed we've got a dangerous looking drowned off here. He's not wearing a trident, he's wearing a sword. And there it is. And of course it's still not finished yet. Because I still need some slabs, I need some trap doors. But I think it's definitely starting to work out. I think I can definitely work with this. Maybe I'm just thinking of maybe opening up this a little bit more maybe still take this one down because it is definitely a little low it's fine for the cows but it might be a little bit easier for me if i got some more space well this is a little bit better now we've got a little bit more of an open area I'm still thinking about this one. I'm still not sure about it. I might take it up a little bit or just take it down completely. It does add a little bit it does add a little bit of extra something to it. But I'm not sure. I might keep it like this. We definitely still need to do a lot over here. I definitely yeah I have to make sure they can't get out so I have to add extra layers of logs I have to add slabs so let me get a couple of them so something like this I think this is fine with a slab definitely fine with a slab I'm thinking about yeah, is this going to work? It might be a little bit too close to the roof. I'm not sure about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I might just do slap and then lock and then slap and then lock. Maybe something like that. Or maybe switch them up a little bit more. So maybe take this one down, take this one down and this one down. And then add a slap, add a lock and then maybe a lock. Take this one down, add another slab and a lock and another lock and another lock and then maybe a slab. Maybe something like that. Just switch it up for a little bit. The thing is, let me grab some oak locks. So yeah, this doesn't fit. That doesn't fit together. So I have to do something like that. Or I have to take it out. And add an oak lock. Underneath the slab. Not behind the slab. So these two definitely work with the slabs. So that's definitely looking a lot better. 
and then yeah we can maybe do some more switch them up a little bit more just like this maybe even switch it up a little bit more let me take this down and yeah switch it up a little bit more by adding an extra layer of logs that's definitely better i think i think that's definitely looking a lot better okay so this is starting to look great i like it i definitely like it so i'm still thinking about this part because the thing is i don't need an extra layer because the cows they can't get on top of it because of the water i might have to take out this block and do some water over there because things can get in but i don't want them to get in they can't get out of here so i'm still thinking about how i'm going to do this maybe keep it a little bit more open to yeah give it a little bit more of an open look i also still have to do something for the entrance but i want to work with the entrance after i took this building down so the first thing that i've got to do is get my wheat get my wheat and get my cows so cows come with me come with me okay that was not smart i should have done it a little bit more like this probably maybe that's also not going to work out well so let me take these three down and then wheat come on cows come on i don't care if i lose a couple of them i definitely want most of them in here so come on cows come on i hope i can get them all definitely don't need all of them but i definitely would like to see how many i can fit in here without it feeling a little bit cramped up so i think i think we got all of them i think it's all of them that's great we got all of the cows and look at this it's definitely definitely big enough so i still need to do something about this still need to do something about this and i was already thinking about this because i accidentally made a spruce gate actually i made one too much so yeah i was already thinking about expanding it a little bit so not like that of course so we get three fence gates a little bit of a bigger entrance but then i don't really like this part don't really like it so what am i going to do about it i like this a lot better i like this a lot better this definitely works out a lot better so i did this one over here and i did this one over there that's definitely better so now i need to start working on the entrance and i was already thinking about taking it up by one and then probably use some of the spruce stairs maybe a couple of slabs and no i didn't lose a cow that's not one of my cows i don't know where he came from but that's not one of mine i think he wants to get inside he might want to get inside so jump on the block jump on the block okay no no that's fine that's fine then you still want to get inside no get on the block get on the log get on it get on the log get on the log get on the log okay then just go go and leave this place so i'm going to get on the log i hope he's not going to drown himself 
I definitely made it safe enough. Maybe I need to make it a little bit more safe. But yeah, for now, I think some stairs. Maybe some stairs. I'm not sure. I don't know how it's going to look. So maybe some more stairs. Maybe some more stairs. Because I definitely didn't have enough. So maybe I'm just going with this. That doesn't work. This works out a lot better. I started using stairs, slabs, trap doors. And it's so much better. I also lifted it up by one. So I added an extra log. To make it a little bit higher. So I could do a little bit more with it. And I think this is definitely looking a lot better. This is not okay. This is not okay. Why are you in this corner? Why do, why do they all want to get to the corner? That's not okay. What are you guys doing? Stop doing this. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Get out. Get out all of you. Get out. Get out. Come on. Go walk around. It looks a lot better if the cows are walking around instead of just pushing themselves in the corner. And they smelled the weed. <laughs> they just smelled it. And instantly they started walking around again. I don't know what was up with these guys. But it looks a lot better like this. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and you are not in the water. Just get in. And of course we are finally done with the new cow pen. With our new place for the cows. And I think it turned out great. It definitely fits in with the village build. And I'm really happy with it. So... Here it is guys, this is my cow pen, I definitely like it, I, I did some detailing around it, I made it look even better and I'm really happy with it. So over here I used only the strip locks, also underwater it's only strip locks, I definitely like it. I used some stairs, some trap doors, some slabs and I get this nice open look. And I really like it. I also use some bushes. I use some of the green banners of course. And I definitely like the entrance. I stripped the locks. It definitely fits in a lot better. I also did some grass around it of course to make it look nice. We did some detailing over here on the side. A little bit of the bushes. We also did this small little part over here. Because yeah we did the same over there. But then... We used the locks over there with some slabs and some trap doors. But I definitely still love it. And of course we still got the inside. We've got the inside of the cow pen. I made some babies. I made some baby cows. So we got some babies over here. We've got some adults. We've got a little bit of water over here. We got some coral in it. We've got some of the sea pickles to light it up a little bit. Yeah I, I like this. I definitely like this. The cows, they are going a little bit crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of hay bills over here. So it's a lot of wheat. And of course the cows like the wheat. So yeah, there's a lot of hay bills over here. As you can see, we've got a couple of them over here. We've got a couple of them in the ground. And over here, we've got some water. There's a baby cow in it. Yeah, the big cows, they can't get in. The baby cows, they can get in. We also got some chest over here. We've got this nice looking ceiling pattern. We also use some of the oak fences and the oak uh, fence gates. And I did some lanterns on it. I definitely like this build. It turned out great. It fits in with the village. 
So let me give you guys another beautiful look. And like this you get a little bit better of a view over it. I definitely love this. It's a small little build with the wall around it. It definitely looks a little bit better when the cows are just scattered around. When they're just walking around. So our village is expanding. We've got the villager breeder. We've got our new cow pen. And of course I'm not nearly done. There's going to be more over here. And I really want to make this a bigger village. I can't wait to see how this village is going to be. But for now of course it's going to be the end of the episode. So if you've liked this video. Please leave like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.